Proverbs 10, 7. Your scripture says that the memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. So if you're one of these wicked archons, one of these wicked beings that's above, so below, then whatever alias you go by, or, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you change your name. Um, your name will rot, meaning you can't escape who you represent, what you are, unless you change and come clean. I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll rot altogether. Like the scripture says, wasted away is he, right? But who is he? The wicked. So the memory of the righteous is blessed, continue to exist. And I think in the book of Psalms, too, didn't David, Michael David, wrote most of it? It says that for my good, they repaid me evil, right? Let their memory perish. Isn't that what it says? Your own book? So that, isn't that what you were trying to do to some of us? Erase our memory, destroy our memory, our consciousness? To all those involved with that, if you instigated that in unrighteousness, well, guess what? You better hope your memory lasts. You better hope your mind can last. You better hope your consciousness can handle the changes taking place. If not, guess what? Like Prime Creator would have it. You know, His will be done. And let it be done according to your works. Let you fall into the traps you laid for others. If you continue to do so, then hey, I'm telling you, it's not in your best interest. So you just know what's up. And down. And all around. So with that being said, Shalom.